If you need cheap codes or cheap games, head on over to G2A.com. I'll leave the links down below in the description. Remember to use Dirty at checkout. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike, and today, my friends, we are back into action with a tutorial. And I'm going to do my best, and I did this last year, where I dropped seven tutorials in seven days. And I'm not going out of town anytime soon, so I'm going to try to push as many tutorials and tips out as possible. If you're all for that idea, that concept, drop a thumbs up. Let's start this video out with a bang. Let's start this process out with a bang. In the comments, what video do you need to see next? It could be about anything. I always listen to you guys, try to focus on the community and making content for the community. I know I have not dropped the defensive tutorial yet. My apologies, I am aware. It's coming, I promise you it's coming. Let's get into this. Let's talk about the scoop turn. And as always, we start in the arena because this is where you get some of that early practice. So what do you need to know? In order to execute a scoop turn, you need a four star skiller or a five star skiller. And we're gonna focus mainly on the stationary scoop turn, which means the ball has been stopped. You can use the fake shot to do that, where I have a tutorial actually covering the stop and pop fake shot. Or you could hit just L1 or LB, depending on platform, it stops the ball for you. There's a few different ways, actually, to get that stationary feel. And I just think it's more effective than the running scoop turn, which is a five star skiller exclusive. And when I talk about turning diagonally. So once you've stopped the ball, then you need to choose an exit direction. And on the left analog stick, once again, if you're on the PlayStation or you're on the Xbox, does not matter, choose a diagonal exit. Uh, what people often do is these perpendicular exits, and that's fine, but that's when you get a normal, ordinary fake shot as opposed to the more creative, the more versatile at times. Just something that could catch people off guard with that scoop turn. It could be a little bit quicker depending what type of fake shot you're doing versus, of course, the scoop turn and what kind of player you're using. How fast is he? How agile is that player? As you can see, Neymar is zooming. Might be the best skiller in the game in terms of his skill move execution. Uh, it makes me feel a certain type of way inside. I feel special. And those examples were from the shooting skill of the game, the advanced shooting skill game. And that's so you get a side to side view because it's all about perspective with skill moves. And as you get into the first freeze frames, you can see here I've hit Paul Pogba. Now, most of the time when you're looking to do a scoop turn, it's going to be inside your box or right on the edge of the box. And something that's crucial, I mean absolutely mandatory, please pay attention. You can see who your opponent is controlling or who they aren't controlling. If you're going to do skill moves in general, it's always beneficial if your opponent is controlling the player that you're about to challenge. So I see my opponent switch to this defender in the box. What that tells me, he's probably going to rush me. He's probably going to go for a tackle, which means the margin of error, it increases, which it tells me as well, very quickly, okay, I'm going to be able to do a skill move. I can effectively do a skill here because he's either guessing left, he's guessing right, or he's going to be diving in. Potentially he's doing a slide tackle. All these are good good things and you have to be able to register that quickly and the more you get used to the double indicators this gets much easier to do instinctively where you don't even have to think about it second freeze frame very similar except now I'm on the edge of the box which is the most common area I would say for this scoop turn and I can see my opponent oh he's controlling the player that's defending me he guesses that I'm gonna go to the inside we scoop turn around him Gareth Bale he's on the board that heavenly left foot I appreciate you and I want you guys to make sure to take this home take this to the bank if you're not great at skill moves but you know how to do a few of them but you don't know when to introduce them look for who your opponent is controlling or once again who he's not controlling and I wanted to show you a freeze frame or not even a freeze frame I wanted to show you an example in full speed so you kind of get to see what I'm looking at uh, what, what I'm trying to analyze kind of doing it on the fly this is gonna be a short but sweet tutorial I might put out a more advanced tutorial covering the scoop turn and just some different skill move combinations but I wanted to make sure that I started with something that was rather simple and it wasn't gonna over complicate it for people that maybe are new to the scoop turn or just have some questions or feel that it's not effective this year and I disagree in terms of effectiveness it's just about keeping your eyes open and then understanding when is a good time to execute the move and when is not a good time. If you do want more tutorials, drop a thumbs up and I have a lot more content come for you ASAP, ASAP. I'm looking forward to some of the comments.